Hello, darlings. I am Cassandra. Welcome to the daily inspirational oracle reading provided to you, darlings, by the Jungle Beauty Goddesses. i like for you to take a moment to think about anything that is troubling you, any problems or concerns that you are having. Perhaps you are looking for another perspective or insight or just a sign from the universe while you're listening to this energy check-in reading. You may also allow your mind to settle into your heart and see what issues may surface and let it resonate with this reading. After this energy check-in reading, darling, I am going to give you an opportunity to ask my Mystic Being deck any yes or no question you may have. So I'm going to do a yes or no pick a card at the end of this energy check-in reading. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby's message to you is Unleash your confidence. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar who represents our third eye. And her message to you darling is You can create whatever you want. And the last card I have for you for this inspirational oracle reading, darling, is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby's message to you, darling, is stop playing the victim. This, I think this is a pretty straightforward inspirational reading today. So basically, you know, when people say stop playing the victim, I like to, if you've watched any of my videos, darling, you know that I love, love, love Harriet Tubman. You know, she's one of, I don't know, I don't want to say one of my favorite people. Yes, I love Frederick Douglass as well. But I just love her because to me, she had so many really good excuses, like, to not escape slavery. Like, um, darling, I can't read. Um... I'm not even considered a human being. I'm property. I don't even, child, I don't even know where I'm going. Okay? I don't even know. I am. <laughs> Those are some really, really good excuses to not show up for your life and to make your dreams come true. If you, if you ask me, okay? I always tell people that if I was Harriet Tubman, after freeing myself and the snakes and the animals and the bugs and the swamps and the, oh my god I can't imagine myself going back to save anybody because I would have been too afraid so to free myself from those conditions child I can't even read and now I'm going to go back and save some other people uh, no I would have been telling everybody my story in between drinking in be you know what I'm saying like there was just so many bugs and I was just so scared so to me the this is a person who decided not to play the victim and to me it's you know it's like I know people who they have a headache and they just can't make it to work they are just having a bad day you know what I'm saying so sometimes when people look at their own when you know when you look at your own life darling in what way are you playing the victim in your own life in what way are you not really showing up for your dreams do you understand what I'm saying like and what just be you know you don't have to child don't write it in the comment box don't tell anybody but you and your god but there are there are things you can do to show up for your life and if you don't like the boss and child get another job if you don't like the teacher and this is the only teacher teaching that class you know what in four months you won't even remember this teacher one day t think 10 years down the line you won't even remember their name like don't make excuses for your life I don't and I think when people think about you know um, you know their goals and what they want to achieve in their life you know most people like to list all of the people who try to stop them their parents you know so many things that you know went wrong and I could have done this if it wasn't for that and so forth and so on Oh, and I know one more person who could have really been, oh, this is another one of my favorite people, by the way. I know, it's just, I have a weird list of people. Edison, 
um, and I, I know I know the stories about him. Um, but but Emma, Mo, but I'm sorry, Beethoven. Now Be- Beethoven, you know, child, you know he lost his hearing, right? And when he was going through losing his hearing, he went through a deep depression, and he was extremely angry with God. He he asked, he said, "How could I, a musician?" lose his my hearing like like come on god are you serious but anyway so he was the, everybody said he took it really hard but then he realized that he could like not he could ignore everybody and concentrate on his music and they said when people would come to beethoven's house he would play without clothes okay so that he could feel the vibrations of the piano darling okay he he well, he had a really good God I can't even hear it hello I can't even hear but no that was not his excuse okay so stop playing the victim so whatever it is you want to achieve today darling I want you to think about Beethoven and Harriet Tubman who couldn't even read child couldn't write didn't know where she was going people chasing her and she didn't just free herself she went and free other people as well so you have to know that you are a magnificent and powerful 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 being and there is absolutely child there is nothing you can't do but you have to make it up in your mind that you are unstoppable so the next card we have unleash your confidence with jungle beauty goddess chobi who represents your third chakra right now you know your third chakra is two inches above your navel that's your power center that's your center that's responsible for your for your self-esteem self-worth self-honor your ability to make a plan and carry it out now this is you know if you read a thousand books about self-esteem every person is going to tell you something different and just take it all in and find one that resonates with you but I'm going to give you my opinion about how to develop self-esteem me now I didn't read this anywhere this is just my experience from my almost 60 years on this planet okay let's just let's just call a spade a spade and my experience and my opinion I feel that you can't develop real self-esteem until you stop caring what other people think yep and I don't know if there's a magic pill for it because there's a lot of pills for like you know a lot of things but until you make up in your mind that every person on this planet is just a divine spirit encased in blood flesh and bones darling trying to find their way okay trying to find their way back home that's what everybody here is the same everybody here gonna leave this planet everybody here have to use the restroom listen nobody on this planet is superior to you and nobody is inferior to you do you understand that we are all equal beings even if they don't think they are they are okay and when people denigrate you or put you down honey what they are doing is a reflection of who they are not who you are when a person is rude nasty you know make it making you know these very rude and um, comments like I wasn't I wasn't raised in this generation the online generation where people just make nasty comments and people just say anything to each other we weren't raised like that you know because if you, you know, everything was face to face and you say something to somebody you might you know you you better be ready to back that up you know what I'm saying so but my mother always told me that when somebody even when somebody would you know say a your mama joke she said how she said when somebody they don't they're not talking about your mother they're talking about the only mother they know which is their own so why would you get upset they don't know your mother like <laughs> she used to always tell us when people whatever people do that is wrong or ignorant or she said that's a reflection of them how can that be a reflection of you what comes out of their mouth and how they treat other people and what they're saying that's a reflection of their own lack of up- upbringing their own lack of integrity she said how, don't get upset don't don't even think about it because it has nothing to do with you it has everything to do with their own life so whatever you whenever you make up in your mind darling that you don't care what anybody think of you 
that you're going to do you, right? When you can make up in your mind that you don't, other people's opinions about you and your dreams and your goals and your body size and your nose and your lips or whatever, when you make up in your mind that you are perfect just the way you are, I'm talking about from a spiritual perspective, I'm talking about your eternal worth, okay? I'm talking about your innate worth as a divine spirit, darling. When you make up in your mind that you have a right to be on this planet just as much as anybody else and that nobody is better than you and nobody is is, um, less than you, you know what I'm saying? And you don't care what anybody thinks but yourself, you're going to find yourself doing some amazing things. You know, one of the things I know that, you know, I've written several books and there's always somebody who's just looking for um, a error. You know, like, oh, there was an error. You know, so you you write your book. I promise you I'm going to find an error. I don't care how many people read the book or how many people edit the book. I read books every day. I just go past them. They're, it's no big deal. We're human. It's not a, like, stop being really critical of other people. As when other people are critical of you, completely ignore them. I'm serious. And you will find that you would start doing things with your life that you've always wanted to do. So, of course, you don't, you, you're you not playing the victim, right? Because you know you can do whatever you want to do. And you know that you're not going to make excuses for your life. You know that even if you can't read or write, you're still getting up out of, you know, out of here. You, you know if you can't even hear the music, you're still going to play, right? Whatever, the, however, the, however that scenario applies to your life. And you're going to stop listening to what other people say or caring about what other people say. Oh, one more thing my mom used to always say. If they're not paying your bills and if they don't love you, well, they don't have a, you know, why would you care what they think, right? So, so... This whole worrying about what people think and the things that people are saying, once you delete that, your confidence will soar because you don't be weighed down by this illusion that has been created by other people of where you're supposed to fit in. You're, you're supposed to fit in wherever you decide to fit in, child. And then you have the last card from Jungle Beauty Goddess of Far, who her message is you can create whatever you want, right? Don't listen to people. Don't play victim. Don't make excuses for your life. And use your the third eye, your intellect, your imagination, your intuition to create the life of your dreams, child. So that is the message for today. And now I like for you to formulate a question for the Mystic Beings Darling. And you can select number one number two or number three if you are number one I like for you to go ahead and formulate a yes or no question for the mystic beings okay and I am going to pull a card from the deck to see what their message is to you do you have your question in your mind Dolly so we're gonna go ahead and I'm ready to pick for you so Let's hold this down here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pick. This is the answer to the person who is in group number one. This is the Mystic Beans answer to your question. I always get a little nervous. Darling, what is your answer to this group one's question? Oh, be gentle unlimited possibilities you could not ask for a better answer so whatever your question is darling the mystic beings response is you have unlimited possibilities now what that means is what you do in the next few days can determine what the outcome is like for example let's just say you're waiting to hear back from a job and you want to know if you're going to get the job well one of the things you can do is send out a thank you note to everybody on the committee because now you're pushing things in your favor you, you understand what I'm saying 
or you can you know you can choose not to do that what can you do and the next whatever your question is what can you do in the next you know few days week or so to move things in your favor in terms of maybe you have to raise your vibration you know in terms of thinking there's something you can do about it so whatever it is is not uh, set in stone but nothing really is set in stone darling but well some things are you know what I'm saying but what what, what the card is saying is that you still have an opportunity to have an impact on the outcome so if you have selected number two darling I would like for you to go ahead and formulate a question in your mind. All right, and I am going to pick, select a mystic being to answer that question for you. Okay, do you have your question? All right, let me just pick something here. All righty. So this is the answer to group two. If you selected group two, this is your answer from the Mystic Being card deck. What is your answer, darling? Oh, Jesus. What does it say? It's not for your highest good to know at this time. So the cards are saying, wait, let me get in focus. It is not for your highest good to know at this time, darling. So whatever your question is, the mystic being said, it is not for your highest good to know at this time. It seems like whenever I would ask questions for myself, it would tell me, I would get this card. I would, like, I have a few of each other cards and it just seems like no matter how I would shuffle this deck, I don't have a question in my mind, by the way, just to let you know. But trust me that that is a legitimate card. So if, when, it, when it means, when the cards are saying if it's not for your highest good, I would I would not push that issue if I were you. I would actually, you know, let it go for now. So if you are in group three, um, I'd like for you to go ahead, darling, and formulate your question. What is your question for the mystic beings? And I am going to select a mystic being for you. A mystic being for you. What is the best answer for the collective? Okay. Alrighty, let's see. And this is the answer for people who selected group three. What is your answer, darling, for the people who selected number three? No. So whatever the mis whatever your question is, the mystic being's answer to your question is no. I really hope this reading helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you, darling, in the next video.